couple things that's being brought up is number one, they didn't turn on their sirens when they went in the alley to go check out whatever uh, suspect uh, crime that was going on. But they never do that though. They, they, when, when they get a call like that, they don't come uh, guns blazing because they like a domestic. Well, you think it'll be in hot water with this because the mayor's mentioning this. Uh, Baby Hodges, and another thing that they mentioned too, they got body cams. They said the body cams weren't put on until after the shooting. Exactly. So that's bringing up a lot of suspicion too of what's going on. Mm. So believe that the partner not saying anything either. He just mentioned that she just popped up on the side of his window, and then the partner reacted and, and shot just shot. Him. But listen, yeah. how, how much of a reaction does it take? While you in the car sitting down to pull out your gun and shoot it through. I mean, I totally yeah, agree because, with because you. I, I'm quite sure he had it in the holster, not on his lap. Right, it was in the holster, so you got to... So you had time to think. You had time to think about what was going on, so something else had to happen. Exactly, something. Or, or something we're going to find out later. Well, what was missing was they uh, allegedly heard a loud noise as they was going through the alley. Again, though, you didn't have your sirens on, you didn't have your lights on. So you just so you creeping. Through. Yeah. You're creeping, goddammit. But she saw the police car, and, you know, she called them, so she go to the uh, window. Right. I've seen people go to the window straight to the police when they called them, yep. and he just, well, yeah. who is this? Wow. When she went up to the window, did she did she pose any type of threat? That we I don't, don't know. know. I was not in the car That we him. don't know. They didn't find no weapons or nothing on her. No, not at all. But did he fear for his life is the question. It's that you and your partner question. in the car. Y'all got bangers on y'all and got them tasers and shit. Y'all yeah. good? What the fit. fuck you figure? You, you know, I hate to say this. Feel woman I, in the alley. I, I, I hate to repeat this shit. But did he feel like life? Is what I'm asking. Man. Me working with a gun, I can't just pull out my gun just because somebody says boo. Just because you popped out of somewhere. Now, I might pull it out, but I can't just shoot you and be like, oh, I fear for my life. They were like, did you see a weapon? Did you uh, feel like they were coming straight at you? Right. And, and if I say no, they were like, well, you're going down. He's sitting in the car in the passenger seat. We, it's not understandable if the driver did it, but if the cop who was driving the car had pulled out his gun and maybe if you were shooting shot. For your life, if you were shooting for your life, even a driver would act it and, you know what I'm saying, swerved or whatever, tried to get out the gym. It would have been some tire marks. It would have been something where the driver reacted as well. Or you saying the driver got spooked and got... Stuck but the, being a female. But, but the real question though here is why is it all so the driver froze up, your partner had to shoot. The question here though is why all this publicity? Why is it the mayor stepping up and doing all of this now when no. the other incident Orlando Castillo they just looked mm-hmm. at it as oh man, well it looked like he was uh Going for his gun or something like that. Right. Didn't that happen in Minneapolis as well? Saint Cl- Saint Cloud. See, see yeah. how see how a slap in the face coming right back? Yeah. Yeah, and that's the shit that really gets to me. Like, we don't see this. No, we see it. Oh, we don't peep this. Oh, y'all ain't got nothing to say. Yeah, we got a lot to say. Because. Now they want answers. What's the difference? You know what I'm saying? And and I'm with you on that, Smokey D, because it seems like now we got to do a top notch investigation. We're going to call the CSI team in here. We're going to call the CSI team in here, and we're going to get to the bottom of this as soon as possible. Yeah, they're going to use every resource they got to make sure they find out what's going on. You think not? Right, and, and why the, it took for a white woman to die for them to start doing this right. by, by the hands of a, a Muslim or a black cop, whatever he is. I agree. You know what I'm saying, and and that's, and that's the part that that's why that's why I want to see did he fear for his life? Because that's what they say when they kill us. I fear for my life. And you you notice they mentioned everything that they yeah. did wrong. You didn't turn your sirens on. You didn't turn your lights on. Right. How come the body cam went on? You right. Know? That, now, oh, they, that now, they, now, now they want as all these now, now, I'm reading a report that say that she called 911 to report a, a sexual assault in an alley near her home. Her fiance, Don Damon, said in the news conference Monday. Now, they say she called to report a, 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 a sexual assault. So why you getting shot? Uh, why you why your ass getting shot for a call like that? What the it's fuck? Really to this story. Hell yeah, yeah. It it's got to be more. Your ass got shot for a call like that. No, a it, sexual it assault. Was, it wasn't a call. Maybe she. Maybe, let's say this. Don't say hold right on, there. Hold on. Let's say they went through the alley with, with, with their lights off. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So if they going through the alley and somebody run to the cop, boom, 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 boom. When they startle somebody with a gun. So they said they heard a loud noise. And then she just popped up. 
That shit don't sound right to me. It don't sound right. Hey, but you know, to get you attention. know, let, let, let's go back. Let's, she, oh, she is the one that called. So say she's trying to get the attention. She went up to true. the guy and banged on the window. True. Out of nowhere in the dark. Startled. Out. We don't know what happened. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe the, the, the rapist. He feared for his life. Maybe the raper, goddamn it, was running behind her, trying to get whatever he was you trying to do. You never know, man. And she was running for her life, seen the police. You listen. This is the way I say you never know, and why you got to think about it's a things. fucked up situation. Why you got to think about things different. Because when they when they tried all these officers that killed Philando Castile, you know uh, what was the guy named that got choked in New York? Uh, Eric Gardner. Eric, yeah, uh, all them. They went deep into their whole history from criminal to schooling to everything to give these police officers leverage uh -huh. to say that their training gave them leverage in order to commit the act that they did, which caused in a fatality. Bring up old pictures and shit. So right. in that case, in that case, that same listen. I'm not with nobody getting killed by the police. I'm not with nobody dying. Let's get that clear. But the same approach they took with these officers when it came to these black people getting killed, I want them to take the same approach. I want to see what was her psychiatric problems. I want to see right. what was her what behavioral she, problems. Right, right. Bring up her shit. Else. I want to I want to see all that because that yeah, could tie into reason to why the officer reacted the way he reacted because to the officer's defense in the world that we live in now, you do have people out here killing these police officers, women and men. True that. White and black. And that's why Johnny kept saying that he feared for his fucking life. You get life. what I'm saying? So it could be that situation. And I'm not saying that because, you know, he's, he's black. You know, he's, he's, he's of, of aboriginal descent. I refuse to use the, the word African American, but you know he's of Aboriginal descent. I'll go deep into that later when I, if anybody want to know. But anyway, you know, I'm not siding with him for that. I'm siding with him because I'm not siding with him at all. But I'm looking at the story from the point of how things have been judged in the past when it comes to blacks being shot. Right. I right. want I want that same thing. I want you to look at her husband. What problems has he have? You get what I'm saying? I want to see that same information come out because if they don't do not if they do it, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to look more into this story. And I'm going to find out about her past. And I'm going to put it out there if I need to. Not to degrade her, but to give you facts about behavioral problems that lead to circumstances and sometimes fatalities. America, you left me no choice but to look at things like this. You get what I'm saying? What y'all think? I agree, a hundred percent, my nigga. Yeah, but that's the reason why I keep saying did he fit for his life? You know what I'm saying? Because that's the excuse the white cops give when they kill an innocent black man. Or I say unarmed black man. Mm -hmm. This right. shit still ain't right, man. What's not right, dude? You don't. <laughs> I told you I carry a gun all the time. Mm -hmm. That's your profession. We right. understand that. But I'm saying certain yeah, things. Murder, I just can't pop a motherfucker, man. Or you came to the window. Give you another example. He used to work at Wendy's. I had to wait for these. Moments. What, what, what's the crime traffic in that area she was in? It, it was a sexual assault. It might be I mean, a high true, crime traffic. True, true Just because me. it might be a, a predominantly Caucasian area, don't mean that high crime don't exist. You get no, what I'm no, saying? No, no, no. I'm not saying that, and I don't agree. So you have to understand the psych, the psyche valve of of where the police station is and what type of philosophy they can put in them too when they hit that street. I want to know everything, man. I mean, two and two, too. <laughs> Dog Am nigga, I wrong? Like nigga, that? bad nigga, cop nigga. Like I At said. At the end of the day, <laughs> you still a nigga. You know? Like, like I said, the whole thing, now you got the mayor doing all this and they're asking questions. That's the part I don't like. When, uh, Fernando Castillo? Yeah, when he got killed, nobody asked about the body cams or anything like that. Right. Nobody asked. Even though it, it came, even though, even it, though it showed, camera. he didn't need the camera. The, the, the woman had the camera. His lady friend had the camera. But they still. What was, what was his wife? I want to call her yeah, respectfully the right was. thing. Yeah, I, I don't know. So I'm we're gonna call her his wife. But you are told as a cop to turn them on when you go and check out any suspected crime, or anything, traffic stop, or anything of that nature. Right. So when they didn't do it, you know, like how come y'all ask about that? True. I agree with you. I'm not against you. So yeah, it, it is a deep, deep issue 
because you're comparing this with other things. I'm, I'm, compa- other I'm students comparing and stuff it to like what, what, we, what I think going to happen to this man and what's happened to the people that's killing us. I'm looking at it more. No, they're going to try to hang his ass. I guarantee you that. And, and, and see, that's my problem. 35,000 blacks. And, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't, state. I don't know. Let, let me, let me say this and think about it. And I hate to put it in this analogy. This could be our black folk OJ moment. No, it ain't happened. You, you remember you, you that? Don't think so? You, you Dude, remember that I, time? She's Australian too. They asking what the hell happened. This has got worldwide recognition now. We could, we could have our OJ moment, man. Hey, because I mean, because should he not go free? I mean, they, they should he not for killing us? I mean, I if, if, if he goes down, if I'm he on. goes down, I America has us. something more to, to pay, say, way yeah. bigger than what Australia is asking. If we look at all the reports of recent years, the past four or five years of all these national killings. I'm calling them what they are, national killings of black folks by our so-called protect and serve officers. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't now you're opening you up a whole different can of worms. If he don't get off, it might be it's, shit. Right, it's new it might doors be some opening shit. up. It might be some doors that need amongst, to open up. Amongst black cops, you know what I'm saying? Seriously. Other black cops see that shit. Might be some. You might think be they ain't seen all this shit before? Hey, hey, can I ask you all, all these white cops too. killing yeah. black? I was gonna ask somebody this in front of an audience. You know how when they be having the riots and shit and, and people be protesting? Mm-hmm. Do y'all ever see any black cops out there? Family, family footage of a riot or some shit. That's because that you brought that up because it's a movie and called want, Detroit for to come out. Yeah. And it's about. Yeah, I seen the previews. That's yeah. like gonna be good. Yeah. And it's gonna have a black cop dealing with what happened during those riots. So we start to see what oh, see, I, I they, okay. they, they face. See, I, I ain't okay. see it that deep into part of it. Oh, yeah. She, I mean, with a director, Captain Bagalow, she okay. went through all the areas and all the angles. So it's a black cop that's because somebody got beat. Detroit is by the cop. Corrupt. And D- Detroit you know, is very corrupt. It ain't for motherfucker up there in Chicago. No, uh, no, no, no. De- Detroit is worse than man, Chicago. We got, we got that, that's gov- why. That's got why. Got listen, governor, two governors in jail. Listen, listen yeah. here. Listen here. Detroit is basically like a mob type running. You you know how the cartel is in Mexico? That's basically how Detroit is ran, man. Huh. Like no bullshit. You got motherfuckers in there that know people that know each other, and that's why they do. That's why they can't evolve it economy wise because it's too much corruption and. You put businesses in there? No. You gonna you gonna really exploit America then, man. Nah, Detroit, Detroit used to thrive though. They man. did. They did. Back then they had it. Old town yeah. city. They did. They had it at one point. They Fucked did. Up man. In Detroit, but man. You I know, just, I I just wanna see the outcome of, of what happens with this cop. I really do. You know what I'm saying? I, I know I'm, I'm gonna wait on that before I give an opinion because that's gonna really, you know, uh, sway, sway my judgment. Right? Yeah. Like if he gets off, you know what I'm saying? If he goes to jail, I just like hope how fast it happens. Like I'm looking at everything. From I just hope according to the Constitution and the justice system, justice gets served. And I'm with mm-hmm. you on this one. I'm not gonna say much, but I will say like, come on now, we see a trend. We hip to this trend. We understand why, okay, you're making us understand why these officers got off, and we don't like it, but, okay, now one of ours is in the same situation. Right. Are you going to look at them as one of y'all's? Right. right. As, as right. an officer. You get what I'm saying? Right. Because we're or looking we at it as one of ours. Right. Black, black, uh, a black person. Are y'all going to keep that same mentality and look at it as one of y'all's, too? I still don't understand how they got off with all these other killings, man. Everything was... Black and white, no gray areas. How the hell they get off? But I know Castillo, uh, cop went the cop that killed him with the court today. Uh, I don't know that we need to try to figure. Yeah, out. we need to. We gonna talk about that, man. We gonna come back. I, know, and I do don't some... know the outcome. It might have been a continuous. I'm just gonna look it up real quick. But we gonna look at look at that up off air. You know, man. Listen to that, okay. man. You been you been quiet, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. You been quiet. Man. I'm shocked. You said Eric Gardner over there in New York, right? Mm-hmm. What was it? Oh, he didn't have no gun. Why? Oh, no, he, he didn't want to move. Out. He they, didn't want to move. They they choked him out, and that's the first. And, and he didn't put up yeah. no fight or nothing because he was a big dude, and that dude just came up behind him and just grabbed him. Right, and, you know, right. He ain't put up no fight. So on some do the right thing shit. That's exactly what happened. Mm-hmm. 
It's, it's, it's funny. That's how, exactly what happened. It's funny how certain things that we watch predicting the history of what's going on in America. That's something to talk about when we come back, man. Here go Tupac, so many tears. <laughs> 